Myanmar Police Force is conducting the training on child rights, child protection and child sex abuse investigation to the members of Anti-Trafficking and Person Division in Nibido. It was held with the support of UNICEF. Joseph Jose Tung reports from Nibido. The main objective of this training is to have Anti-Trafficking and Person Division understand how to handle child abuse related issues. Myanmar Police Force recently formed the Child Protection Unit, mainly operating in Yango, Nepiro and Mandalay. Law enforcement local... Dealing with child victims, witness or offender is totally different from dealing with adults because they are very sensitive and fragile. If the issue is not handled properly, they will be at worse conditions. The responsible police need to understand the child rights, child protection and how to deal with them. Young people under 16 are characterized as children according to the Myanmar child law. Children being trafficked are on the rise and most of them are trafficked in China and Thailand and forced to either beg or be sex workers. While it already sounds bad, more threats are seen coming. Besides, with the development of hotel and tourism industry in Myanmar, child sex abusers called pedophiles are also rising. Myanmar police force have investigated and filed pedophiles with the cooperation of Interpol. So, it's good that hotel and tourism industry is developing more in Myanmar, but we also need to pay attention to the hidden agendas behind it. We need the cooperation of everyone to protect our children. Myanmar child law is now under discussion and will be finished soon, UNICEF said. Both parties agree that public participation plays an important role in the protection of children. I've seen children back in nearby the market and crowded places in Lashio, so I expected to learn how to deal with them, their rights, and how we can protect them. Lessons learned from this training will be delivered to the communities so they can cooperate with us for sure. To reduce child abuse-related issues, police alone isn't enough, but the cooperation of everyone is crucial. A total of 35 members of Anti-Trafficking in Person Division from all over the country are attending in this training starting from 24th to 28th November. Joseph Chao Sainton reporting for Numa International Television from Nepido.